Hey Metro Serve team, as you know we're moving to the Chronotech app to clock in and clock out. So we created this quick video on how to download the app, create your user login, and then quickly how to use the app. First things first, once you get, once I get your email, you're going to get an email invite that looks like this from Chronotech. So you're simply just going to click on it. In that email you'll find two things, a link to download the app and then also a link to create your login. First, you're gonna to need to download the app. So if you have an Apple phone, there's an Apple link. If you have an Android, there's a Google app link. So click on the App Store. The link will bring you right to the download. So all you do is right up here at the top, it's either gonna say download or get. You click the download button, It'll take a few seconds to download. Once it does, Go right to opening it and this is where you're going to create your new username and password but first you're going to have to go back to your inbox go to the second link in the email and from here it's going to show you how to do your new password once you create your new password it's going to tell you to go back to the original login page so just go back to the app and from here you're going to log in for the first time. Your username will be the email that you sent to me and the email that was the invite was sent to and then obviously your new password. Once you type in your username and your new password, simply hit log in and it's going to bring you to the app. Clocking in and out is real simple. At the top right, there's an icon that says clock and you're going to hit on the clock and it's going to bring you to the next page. Hit go. Now this part is really important. In order to use the app, your location services have to be on. Also, it is required by MetroServe to set your location to always. Keep in mind, however, it only tracks you while you're logged in to the app. So again, location service is on. We can clock in now. The very first page is going to be your job code. So up here at the very top, with your location services on, it's going to detect what building you're in or what building's closest. So you can just click on the first one or whichever building you're in. If you can't find it, you can scroll or look up here at the search bar. It's a whole lot easier just to type the building name in and search it. So you're going to click on the job that you're at. And then down here is going to be your activities you can do at your building. We found it's a whole lot easier to search and try to narrow it down. So if you're doing an event for Church of the Highlands, you can type something like Freedom in. And you can see right off the bat, any code that has to do with freedom will pop right up. If you're there to do uh, a regular clean, we found that it's a whole lot easier to start typing in the building name like Church of the Highlands, let's say Grants Mill. COHGM and it's going to bring in what different codes you can do for cleaning and it really kind of narrows it down so once you find it you simply click on it brings you to the page that lets you know you're clocked in up here at the top you can see it's blinking it's recording the minutes and hours that you're logged in to clock out all you have to do is hit the stop button and then if you need to clock back into another building, you just start the process over. Again, just to reiterate that going forward, using the app is mandatory for all MetroServe employees and the only way we're going to clock in and clock out, having your location services selected to always is required. And again, it only tracks while you are clocked in. Also, please do not drive while using the app. Clock in once you get to your building. Clock out before you leave your building. Thank you very much.